Look what we got. The hungry lamb, man. Let's just like to it. I don't know what to expect with this game. I just saw it on Steam and said, let me just cop. So, hey, I don't know what to expect, though. I think it's a story game. I often ponder why my father named me Lane. Okay. The word Lane indicates Sean Virgil. Shin, I mean, the character Shin is in the shape of an open mouth sheep. Looking at it, you can imagine the sheep's cry. Perhaps if one is as gentle as a lamb, Lang suits him. Mmm, okay. However, I refuse to see myself as a sheep. I am a wolf. Okay, who you think you is, brother? Yeah, sent him home. Lang sent him home. From nearby there came a rough voice, inquiring. I glanced sideways and a man approached me from the distance. Step by step he made his way, twigs falling, leaves crunching. Sunlight streamed through the cracks in the woods, dabbling everything yet, he adeptly hid himself in the shadows. I sized him up, okay. Capped in a bamboo hat, clad in a raincoat, holding a gourd, he seemed more of a fisherman than a menace at first glance. I mean, he got him a little sword. Such an appearance made it easier to let one's guard down. He was usually tasked with learning the sheep and would be would, would do the butcher's job. This fellow was another wolf accompanying me. Wolf. His name was Xing Ying, but I prefer calling him Tong. Hey, what is that? Silence. Did you wrap it up? Wrapped it up, gave the sheep a stab when he wasn't looking. What did you dump him? Buried. Did you bury him consciously? Run out far. From the town, make sure no beast dig him up. Buried him tight. No worries. What was on him? Two thousand coins worth five thousand tails of silver, plus two hundred coins, rag clothes, and a pouch. I take four tails. You get rag clothes and porch. A pouch is mine. This time, there was just one sheep. I killed and buried him, so I deserve more. Alright, alright. How much is a pal for? I think 2,000. Just a common item. Okay, let me take a look. I reached into my waist bag and put it out for tongue to see. This is an insane choice of words, but okay. The pouch is small enough to fit in one hand. Common sense would dictate a sheet pouch may contain a handkerchief or some che some checks, but it was empty. The pouch is red, sewn together with patches, yet it looked new and it was embroidered with a light covered in leaf. How did the pouch end up with this embroidered word? I don't know. Did the lamb name and or was he wished safely from the pouch? If the latter, the pouch surely failed him. Okay. No big deal. I gave the pouch a squeeze and toss it into my waist pouch. Okay, bet. Tongue patted my shoulder, taking the lead. Alright. I responded casually to your tongue, pressing my hand on the bamboo hat, softly lowered it. I walked forward in each step, accompanied by the crunch of leaves underfoot. It was fine not to pay attention to these sounds, but if you do, they could become quite loud. It was as if a bird chirps and a monkey cries had disappeared. The whole forest was flooded by a crunch of charred leaves. While two wolves trolled across the desolate mountains and wild ridges. Oh, a punk passing. A tree with a sturdy twisted trunk. I couldn't help but look closer. I knew it. But beneath the tree lay sheep I butchered. Okay. 
the year 1632. Okay. What here? The sun hung light almost blending, but it raised lack of the slightest trace of warmth. I couldn't shake the memory of the sun from my childhood, so warm and inviting, and now it felt different. Perhaps it was a sign of the fading dynasty, an era gripped by its misfortune, for even the daylight has grown cold. Goop, perched on a boulder by an inn in Hasio, I emptied the last drop from my flask. The fiery liquor seared in my throat, yet it warmed refreshing my stomach. In bygone days, I deemed myself an unfortunate soul. However, in this year of calamity, savoring the fiery liquor proved to be a rare stroke of luck. Yeah, okay. What? I glanced over, and there was a tongue standing behind me. Same attire, bamboo hat, straw hat. He seemed like a fisherman. It's the same dude. Smiling, ready to spill some good news. What's up? What's the job? Lang said. I gave him a quick look and quiet cat. Chengbei has a crew. The guard of the Yin Sir left. Originally, this small dog was sent to bring the Yin Sir. But they did something else. They caught him. No, he's short. And manpower. He wants to take over the town. Yeah, yeah. 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 Then what's the deal? We need to send this little dog to the Luoyang. Human trafficking? My heart sank. I finally got what Tung has been hinting at with his mysterious talk. Oh, snap. Whenever he sought me, out before it usually meant dark deeds, robbing and killing. We don't do those. This time, all secretive life. Turning out he wanted to do trafficking, delivering some acquired lambs to Luoyang for a good price. You call? And you can't say it. Yang Yang is not our dog. It's not worth you call. I think it is. But you can think it is. You also know that the Yin Sir that person has been helping us to explain the road, but his main job is to catch thieves. Yeah, no. This task is to get Yang Yang to Luoyang. But it's not a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. I frowned and almost didn't want to hear Tung talk anymore. Yeah, I don't want no parts to do with this big fella. That is not a good deed. Yeah. Okay. Luoyang那边呢，有一只大肥羊啊，它有的是钱，呃，就是生不出小羊。便想从穷地方收几只来养。呃 ，OK。你想啊，那些穷人家的小羊们本来就要饿死，我们把它送到富的地方去。I guess。这样他们的父母不至于。<笑>不瞒你说，妈的，牛牛，你你在干啥呀？给个痛快呀！你要是不做这么好的活，我就找别人做。OK 啊。我看你身手好，一个能听俩。Hey man, I don't want to do it so. I called out to Tung. When do the lambs need delivering? Okay. Fine, I join you. Come on, bro. I rose brushing off the dust. Yeah. Maybe it was the promise of no worries about food and clothing, or perhaps the idea of doing good deeds that swayed me. That is not a good deed, human trafficking. Anyways, I'm going along with the Tongue's plan to see what's up. Hey you, my dear Wei Yi, I almost got you guys killed. Hey, quick, quick, quick! Okay. Ah, the goat! Every year you get, quick, get Wei Yi some red wine. Just arrived at the Yin Tong in Vin Gritia, Yan Xin greeted us with flattery, guiding us to our seats like Yin. He scolded his workers to bring us drinks. Suddenly, shifting behavior made me wonder if he was just acting. I stayed standing, eyes fixed on Yinshan, my mind wandering into interesting scenarios. Possibly from my childhood love for shadow plays, whenever I met someone, 
the animal form pops into my head. Uh, so they believe in reincarnation and stuff like that. Most are sheep, tongue, and are wolves. To comes across as a fox. This fox lair was in the North Hazel. No guests came and they closed all year. The inn was a, was a cover. He used it for business dealings. There was a higher up he answered to. Okay. The big boss handed down missions and he passed them on to us. Back then the jobs he pulled from was all about hitting canvases. He tipped us off in a secret hall and we'd go in. This time it's a bit different, a job involving human trafficking. Yeah, we don't do those. Whenever the job we met was at this end most of the time. Okay. Who said I'm in? I haven't committed. Yeah, I don't know though, I yeah, who wants to be in the line of human trafficking? Uh... They trying, they trying, they trying to water it down. You can't water down, you're not gonna play me. Because if I get in trouble for quote unquote human trafficking, that's... You say that now. Hold up, y'all. Hey, I say again. Now, in the middle of the war, who can handle it? Yes, go to their command. They have many places to fight. Okay, what if we get made the example that we shouldn't do this? I always feel like that. If I do something bad, I'm gonna be the example why not to do this. Yin Shang explained to me, Yin Shan explained to me, relying on tongues back in him, up at the same time. Tongues chugged half a cup, hot wine back in Yang Shan. And shouting me wings, shooting me wings. No worries about food and clothes, doing good deeds, and times are chaotic. They keep each other. They kept echoing in my mind, challenging my principles. So that's just like me. The Holy Spirit telling me, don't do that. That's not right, and this is gonna be wrong, and you have to listen to that. Now, do I dive into the job or think twice? Yeah, we gotta scope out the worms. Decide after. I said slowly to Ying Shan and Tong. I might have a chance. Go bring the lamps up here. Ying Shan shouted, his voice echoing. The inner waiter nodded, hurrying up towards the back door. The lamps were brought up, tied with hems of ropes around their waist, and linked together to stop any escape. Some softly cried, others trembled, nudged into a line of in waiters standing in front of me. I kept quiet, scanning the lamps. Yeah, no. They must know each other. They really was referring to as lambs as a people? I thought they was talking about real lambs. Is that like a children? for like this culture or you know I ain't know that probably sisters but both pretty young I'm not in this I'm not from the traffic kids I'm I am good people don't deserve that I figured the older sister was nine and the younger one was six they both sported worn out clothes dark complexions and rug the shelvers faces the slender frames hinting at a poor background glancing at them the older sister scared yet putting on a brave front Defently, locked eyes with me while the young one shied away, too frightened to speak. Maybe the other sister aimed to protect the younger one and viewed me as a threat. Third sheep. This is the same, we calling them sheep. The third lamb stood out from the first two. She looked older. School age, she wore old clothing, was small, but had way much fairer skin than the first two lambs. She bowed her head in fear 
hesitant to speak, but yet her upright stance, hidden as an unusual background. Rata 2 on the left, the thorough snatched. I casually asked Yingshan, laying out my judgment. Yo! Liang Ye Yan Li Jin Juan! Over there, those two lamps are sisters. The older sister with teary eyes looking onto the verge of crying. It seemed what Ying Shan Ying Xin Mafo said was true. Snatched. Is it safe? I was going say, do you think I risk getting sending her otherwise? I'm not doing this. No ways. Snatch ones are safe, especially when this lamb seems from a decent family. Exactly. No, all of them, they don't deserve, deserve that anyway. I hushed my tone and spoke icily to Ying Shin. <laughs> easy, take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> He know he know it's wrong. See, no, nope. they trying to have me to ch human trap. No. Nope. Why does trap? How will young lady become risky? Aren't you worried about her family might report this to the government? Family is too equipped right now. No way they're coming. Yes, they would. What happened? Her close connection with the Inspector General Young. Dang. I kept crying. If Ying Shan's words held truth, no one will bother about the lamps. Just, no, we don't. Even in times of peace and prosper, Look, everything that's done in dark will come to light. Disregarded, let alone times of turmoil. Fine, I give it the last lamb a look. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We can't, we can't do this. Let's go to the choice. <laughs> I need to go to my choice making. Bro, Ying Shan? No, I wanted to choose. I don't agree with this whatsoever. Speak. Yep, we're done. I'm gonna leave it right there. Uh, this game, I don't really play games like this, but I just wanted to check it out, and it seemed like it's pretty interesting, but y'all gonna have to let me know if y'all want me to play this more, but that's all I got for y'all today. We played two chapters of it, and really, we got tricked into, uh, I guess, we thought that was something good, and we found out it was human trafficking, and we don't play with those. Uh, I don't I don't mess with that. That's, you know, weird, and, you know, dehumanizing. But, yeah, I'm going to see y'all boys later, man. Let me know if you want to see more of this. If not, it's cool. I don't expect a lot of people to watch this because it's not really like a, a RPG or like a, a battle royale, so I don't understand. So, hey, I'll see y'all boys later, man. God bless. Y'all stay smooth, stay on y'all word, and yeah, I'm out. Y'all have a nice one.